gone. <laughs> this is all I have to work with today. Today I'm going to be throwing out my mouse because we're going to be talking about all the keyboard shortcuts that you need to know to quickly navigate around in Warp. By the end of this video, you should be able to write and run very complex workflows without ever having to leave your keyboard. Let's get started. All right, so yesterday I had to delete a bunch of important Git repos from my local machine because I was running out of memory. So today let's reclone my themes repository. So I don't really want to go back into GitHub and refine the repo also because I don't have my mouse, so I can't really uh, access a bunch of stuff right now. So instead I'm going to type in git clone and I'm gonna press Control R and this is going to open up a panel that will give me all the commands that I have run in the past that start with git clone. And if I use my up arrow key to navigate, it seems like this URL is the correct one to the themes repo I'm trying to clone. So I'm gonna press enter to input it into my input box and then enter again to run it. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to ls and then cd into themes. Now that I'm in my themes repo, let's go ahead and make some changes. So I'm gonna press command D and this is going to open up a vertical split pane in my window. And from here, I'm gonna run vi new theme.yaml. And this is going to create a file called new theme.yaml and open up the editor so I can start creating my new theme. Now I'm gonna press option command left and this is going to autofocus me into my left split pane. You can see that this is autofocused because my input prompt is expanded on the left, as well as the triangle on the top left is on the left pane. Now I like to keep my left split pane open to run very general commands. For example, things like git status or git branch. So for now, I'm gonna clear all of this clutter so that it looks cleaner by pressing command K. And that just clears out all my blocks. Okay, now let's navigate back to the right split pane by pressing option command right. And now I wanna start editing and adding stuff to my new themes.yaml file, but I don't know quite where to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press command T and this is going to open up a new tab in Warp. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in and open up the Vim editor for winter.yaml. And I want to copy everything in this file and put it in new themes.yaml and that way I can get a good starting point to start editing my YAML file. Normally I would use my mouse to click and drag all the text in the file to select and then copy it. But I don't have my mouse on me, it's back there, and I don't know the Vim keyboard shortcut to select everything in a Vim file. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press control space and this is going to open up my Warp AI panel. And now I'm gonna ask, how do I select and copy the entire file in Vim? Okay, so it seems from the answer that I can type in colon percentage Y plus and then press enter. And this is going to copy the entire file to my system clipboard. Okay, I'm gonna press control space to close Warp AI and I'm gonna run command percentage sign. Okay, what was it again? Y plus, okay, Y plus enter and now i'm going to navigate back to my first tab by pressing command one and then pressing command v to paste everything i just copied into my new themes.yaml file and it seems like it worked very cool i'm going to press escape and then colon w to save these changes and then i'm going to press option command to left to go back into my left split pane so that we can run some git commands. So first I'm gonna run git status just to check what changes I've made. I'm gonna say I want to git add my holiday new theme.yaml file. And then I'm gonna run git commit to commit my changes. And the message is going to say adding a cool new theme. Now you'll see that I've misspelled the word adding and that may or may not have been on purpose. Now I'm gonna show you a keyboard shortcut that I really like to use to kind of go back in my input prompt to edit things that I've misspelled. And that is option left, which will navigate me by word. So now I can press option left to navigate by word and go ahead and fix my misspelling here. A few things I often do in this process as well is use command up to navigate by blocks. For example, if I want to revisit this block to see the files that I've added, I can do that. And sometimes I use the keyboard shortcut command F to search within a block. And that is it everybody. As always, there's going to be a blog linked in the description below in case you wanna follow along step by step. Don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more educational content on Warp and the terminal in general. Until next time, see ya.